Hello. This is our lecture on constructing an ogive from a given frequency table. Here again, you need to produce a set of ordered pairs, and then you basically have to plot them and connect the points. But in opposite of the frequency table, where you frequency polygon, when you took the midpoints against the frequencies here, you'll be taking the upper class limits against the cumulative frequencies. So your x values, which is this column, will be the upper class limits from your classes. So it'll be 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100. So these are your upper class limits. And here you put the cumulative frequencies, which is 3. The next one is 8 plus 3. The next one is 24 plus 8 plus 3. cell location. For 80, it will be the sum of all the frequencies from 80 and below, so it will be 10 plus the rest of the frequencies. So instead of clicking on all of them, I already have the sum of the previous frequencies. That's just the number right above it, 35. So that will be the, for the cumulative frequency for that row. And ultimately, the final cumulative frequency will be the final value plus whatever everything else added up to. So here you have your ordered pairs that have been consisted of the upper class limits and cumulative frequencies. Again, you select the entire table, again, remembering to leave the last row or the first row on top, the first cell empty. You go to insert, you go to the chart area, and you go to your line graph area, and you go to the where you can graph it with the dots. And there is your ogive or cumulative frequency polygon. And if I right click on these dots, I could also label my points. And again, at this point, you could change the title, you could change the format of the picture to any shape or color you like. And you could also do this manually on pencil and paper. See you guys next time.